me through that play, like that <laughs> scenario. That was your first time being in the World Series? First time being in the wor World Series. It's game four. It was my first and only at bat. Let that sing in. Wait, wait. During that game? No, the whole series. Oh, really? I had one at bat. I was never supposed to even get that at bat. That's fucking so, wild. So let me run. Let me let me give you the backstory. It's COVID year, 2020. We go into an eight team, or it was like eight or 12 team. The playoffs were expanded because we didn't have fans that year. And we beat New York. Oh, no, we beat Toronto in a best two out of three. Uh, I was on the roster. Um, I played the outfield. And then we beat New York in five games, and I was on the roster. I pinch ran and played the outfield. And then we played Houston. I wasn't on the roster for Houston because during the COVID year, we played each game back to back to back to back to back. In the normal year, you have off days in between every two games. Oh, okay. So you can rest your pitching. So they came up to me, Kevin Cash, and says, hey, Philly, like you, we're gonna have. I, I know it sucks, but we're gonna have to leave you off the roster for for this series because we need the pitching. You know what, Kevin? I I, I understand that. I respect it. Like, let's go. Let's go win the ALCS. I was the best teammate that I could be. Showed up every day, regardless that I wasn't on the roster. I wanted to win, right? Like it didn't yeah. matter. So I know there's funny videos of me like holding up a sign like Randy rakes all day, night, year, like I made up. And I'm like, just Randy, best player ever. This is when uh, Randy Rosarino was going off. And everyone loved it. And I was just like, this is who I am. Like I want the best for everyone around me. So Danny, fast forward to the World Series. <clears throat> I don't know if I'm on the roster, right? This is the freaking World Series. Not only... Do you have a dream of being a major league baseball player when you decide this is the sport you want to you want to play? But playing in the World Series is a dream inside a dream. Like your 12-year-old self can't even really get to that point. That's how big it is. So I'm like, "Please Lord, like let me be on this roster, right? Because I, it's it's all his plan. I'm I'm like I said, I'm a God-fearing man, um, a man of faith. And everything in my life that has happened is because of him. So I get a call from Kevin Cash. He goes, listen, you're on the roster. And my I'm, my heart starts pumping, all right? Like, I'm in my hotel room. Like, let's go. He goes, but shit, you're dude. probably not going to get an at-bat. And I'm like, that's okay. He said, you're going to play the outfield, and you're going to you're gonna pinch run. Oh, that's you holding up the sign yeah. for Randy. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so that's me out of it, yeah. Play it. <clears throat> So this was at what point? Okay, so this was during Houston. The, Randy was looked like Babe Ruth, just absolutely going off. He was tearing it up. And <laughs> wow. And I'm just, it's probably going to, at the end, you'll see me holding up the sign Randy rakes all night, day, year. <laughs> <laughs> they made shirts out of that. Breaks all night, day, year. Breaks all night. <laughs> That's sick, right. Dude. So back to my story. Kevin Cash tells me I'm on the roster. I'm not going to hit. I'm just going to play the field and pinch run. That's okay. Thank you. Let's go win this thing. Wait, so this was right before you went into the World Series. Right before we okay. went into the World okay. Series. So game one of the World Series, um, we lost. I think I got to play the outfield. Uh, game two, we had won, and I think I got to play game three. I, I have to look back. I don't know if I played, but it was two to one in the series. Game four rolls around, okay? Long game. I'm watching this play out. We go up one. They they get two. We we get one. We tie it up. They go up one. We get it like it's a great game. Yeah. Like if you get a chance, you got to watch that game all the way through. Okay. So I'm sitting on the bench and I'm watching this play out and we're using a bunch of position players. They're getting subbed in to hit, to, to play defense. And it's coming down to the eighth inning. G-Man Choi's on second base. There's two outs. Phillips, go pinch run. Obviously, I'm faster than G-Man Choi. If there's a ball hit to the outfield, I'm going to score. He would be a question mark. <clears throat> so someone strikes out. It ends the inning. I go out into right field. Now, during like my time in right field, I think it was one, two, three, I was not thinking about hitting 
because usually when you get pinched, uh, you get subbed in, you go in for the, the last person who hit and there's nine people that hit. So you have to do a full rotation before you're going to hit. Right. So I didn't think anything of it. We're down by one run. Like it's not going to get to me. Right. Okay. So I come in the dugout, which is good, which was good for my mental state. Right, exactly. I didn't get it performance anxiety, right? Thinking about, wow, it's gonna come down to me. <laughs> so I go in the I go in the dugout and Hoover, one of the coaches, comes up to me. He goes, Bro, you're up fifth. You're gonna win this game for us. <laughs> just like I swear to God, just like that. He said you're gonna win this game. You're gonna for you're gonna win this game for us. Oh my god. And on the outside it was a reaction everyone would have said, yeah, heck yeah, I'm going to win this game for us. But on the inside, it was, yo, is this man crazy? Like, I haven't had an at-bat for two weeks. I haven't had a hit for a month. I wasn't even supposed to get an at-bat. And you're telling me, Brett Phillips, because out of nowhere, whether you're encouraging me or you felt compelled to say that, I'm going to win this game. Okay. So I go in down. You were and, just questioning yourself as soon as you said that. Yeah. Okay. So, so I go down in the in into the um, in pinch hitting. By the way, is not easy. It's the hardest thing. What that, does that mean? When you you sit cold on the bench the whole game, and they say, "Hey, Danny, you're in. You got to go hit." And at that time, you're facing 95 to 100 miles an hour. Okay. All baseball hitting is is ry- rhythm and timing, and when you get put in a position for one at bat to have to perform it's really tough okay so i'm down in the the uh tunnel where we've got our batting cage and i'm taking deep breaths and i'm just i'm feeling locked in i'm feeling nice i'm hitting i take a swing and we've got the game on so i'm watching kind of things unfold uh we had a base hit there's a man on first next guy got out i know i'm up third so i start walking to on deck randy rosarina is in front of me the guy who was hitting, I think he might have popped out. So now there's two outs, man on first base. Okay? okay. I'm on deck. Randy Rosarina, you just saw this man was going off. You know, he was getting, in my mind, he's getting on base. Like, this is coming down to me. And now at the, like, I've pinch hit before. And being on deck right in that moment, I'm, I'm personally am feeling performance anxiety in any other moment where, I'm I'm a little out of breath. Uh, my heart rate is is fast. You know, I'm letting the environment kind of control my heartbeat, which is loud. Well, I'm sitting on deck. I say my favorite Bible verse. I recite it every time I get myself in a position. I'm like Isaiah 41:10. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your Lord. I will help you. I will strengthen you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Now, at that moment, I felt just like a piece of like like sense of peace and comfort come over me and I'm and my my shoulders are down and I'm taking deep breaths and I'm like this is different like I I've never had this type of confidence before so Randy walks he puts together a great at bat and I'm walking up to the plate and I'm just like look I'm I'm searching for the the performance anxiety now because I cannot this is weird to me I've never had where this where to go right so like I'm looking around at the crowd it's a World Series it's loud it's it's man on first and second two outs this is huge and I just feel okay let's go just swing the bat I'm locked in during that bat you can see the umpire what I think uh, kind of squeezes me on a f- two calls on the inside and on the outside on the K box they were outside the zone he calls them strikes but i had i had you know i'm down to two strikes i had zero zero like pressure i felt like just all i had to do was swing and next thing you know uh just craziness ensues and if you watch baseball a play like this just does not happen like you are in the world series this is peak focus for every for e- nine guys on that field. They are peak focused. They are not worried about what they're going to eat that night. They're not worried about what their family members are up to. During the year, 162 games, yeah, guys are going to space out a little bit. But this is the World Series. And on the play, the center fielder boots the ball. So error number one. We score one. Randy Arroz Arena slips and falls rounding third base. Like theatrical slip and fall like what is that yeah so he gets caught in between third base and home plate if the catcher catches it 
he's out. We tie the game. We go into the next inning. Brett Phillips doesn't become the hero. But what does the catcher do? Catcher rushes the play because he doesn't know Randy slipped. So he rushes the play and misses the ball, which gives Randy the opportunity to stand up and go score. And next thing you know, like, does it mind blowing? Like, does not happen. And so next thing you know, I'm running around the outfield. Like, my kid, my, the kid reaction in me was to do this. Like, and I'm so glad I did. And I almost passed out. It was the first time in my life that I've ever had to get an IV. Like, my resting heart rate was 140 to 160 just sitting there. And they're like, yo, this boy's going to shock. Like, I am such a nerd. Like, put myself into shock. And uh, I was shivering. They put an IV in me. But um, I, I love telling that story.